Luis Severino, this is his 11th start. One and four with a 6.66 devilish ERA. 48 and two-third innings with 40 strikeouts and 22 walks. Did he go? Yes, he did. Garcia down on strikes, one away. And the payoff from Lyles. Lined into right center field, in is a base hit. Cutting over is Blanco, cuts the ball off, and Bowers will stop it first with a leadoff single. Torres hits one deep to right center, going back, Blanco, track, wall, see ya! A two-run home run for Torres, just like that. Yankees lead two zip. He drills a two-run home run into the right center field, Yankee bullpen. And like a good flavor, Torres is there. The Yankees take a 2 nothing lead. Hit sharply Ouch. and through for base hit. Wow, I'm gonna cover my ears on that one, Michael. That ball was absolutely scalded. That one is lined in the left center field. That is going to be a base hit. And it gets past Blanco and it goes to the wall. Stanton rumbling around third. They're waving him home. Here he comes. Here's the throw. It's over everybody. Backing up is Lyles. A throw to second and getting back is Rizzo. It's an RBI double. It's a 3 0 Yankee lead. The one two. And that average just went up. He dumps a single in the center field. Scoring is Rizzo. And it's an RBI from Bader. And it's a 4 0 Yankee lead. The one two. Struck him out swinging. He needed it. High fastball. So now a run can't score on an out. And there are two away. Here is the two two. Struck him out swinging. High fastball. Very close and they got him. Garcia leaning and Severino has an outstanding move for a right hander. That's just an extra out right there. You see caught him kind of leaning a little bit but that quick snap throw got him at first base. Swing and a miss got him slider. High fly ball deep right field waters back on the track at the wall. See ya. Anthony Rizzo has not homered since May 20th, over two months. Not only homers there, and you know this, nobody beats the Riz. Rizzo rakes in the right field seats, and the Yankees take a 5 0 lead. Salvi goes the other way, and another long home run drought comes to an end, this time for the Royals. It is 5 1. Struck him out swing, threw it by. Make it pay. And Massey hits it to deep right field and gone to make it a two run game. And for Massey, that's his third home run of this series. So up to that home run, you say, hey, that was a good performance. Now that leaves a bad taste in Severino's mouth. He went five and two thirds, three runs, eight hits, five strikeouts, no walks. He can win, and he can't lose. High fly ball, deep right center, Bader back on the track at the wall. He makes the play. What a catch by Harrison Bader. Well, first things first, a phenomenal play, and you're almost accustomed to watching Harrison Bader do this. But then second, remember, he was just out uh, by getting hit in the back and the ribs, and he hits a wall pretty hard here. But what a great play. Here's Rizzo against Scott Barlow. Rizzo a triple away from the cycle. How about that? Four for four for Rizzo. He's doubled, homered, singled, and singled. Four hits. You think he's happy today? Whoa. Inside. Soft ground ball to first. A weird hop. The flip to no one. And it gets by. One run scores. Here comes LeMayu. He'll score. McKinney moves to third. Peraza is on second. And the Yankees in control. They lead 7-3. Well, it played out well, no doubt about it. I mean, it was a skewed ball off the end of the bat. And it took a kind of a spinny, weird hop. But not able. He flips it. Nobody there. That's why I really like the bunt play, Michael. You put people in scoring position, anything can happen. You put a ton of pressure on the defense. But that's got to be a hit, too. That one's driven deep to left field. Melendez back. On the track, he'll make the catch. Tagging is McKinney. He scores. Peraza moves to third. It's a sack fly for Higashioka. And the Yankees are up 8-3.
And the left field corner and gone. Freddie Fermin has hit his fifth home run of the year. It is his second extra base hit of the day. Kyle Isbell with two down. He is 0 for 1. Right center field, well hit and gone into the Yankee bullpen. Isbell's third of the season, solo shot, and he knew it. And the pitch. Ground ball of third. This should do it. LeMayhew to Rizzo, and the Yankees sweep the Royals. They have somewhat righted the ship. Guys, baseball is back, and I know everyone wants to hit a home run, but you can't do that when your untrimmed bush is starting to look like Wrigley Field. Get your game on point with Manscaped, and you can start scoring on and off the field with their top-notch grooming products trusted by 8 million men worldwide. Don't forget to use my code YANKSAV for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. To start it off, the Manscaped Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer is getting hyped up as the Aaron Judge of trimmers, and after using it, my confidence level is sky high. In and out quickly to get the job done in just a few minutes, something that Rob Manfred can't say anything about. Also included, the Weed Whacker. This nose and ear hair trimmer provides proprietary skin-safe technology, which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. And rumors that one of the league's biggest issues during the lockout was legalizing the use of ball deodorant and ball toner for players. Luckily, you don't have to worry about getting kicked out of the league for having clean and good-smelling balls with Manscaped. The Crop Reserver is an anti-chafing ball deodorant and moisturizer. The Crop Reviver is a spray-on toner for your balls. You never know when you need a little pep in your step to be at the top of your game. Reminder that you can use my code YANKSAV for 20% off plus free shipping. That's code YANKSAV for 20% off plus free shipping at manscaped.com. Let's get back to the video, guys. Let's go, Yankees. Her body's gone like September. She burns through the night like an ember. And all those things we try forgetting, I remember.